I should fight that. Got filled up again. On decoration just by, you know, just playing. And cutting a bunch of crap. You find two things or once? Guess this guy isn't. Spikes. Oh gosh. Focus on this guy. Those guys over there are spiked. Oops, it's not what I wanted to do. Oh well. Tries getting bullied. Yeah, this place is pretty decent in the Grand Inn. Uh, just mainly finding uh, the big lad. I'm finding the, the spiders in the back and the, the bonnets. Oh, he's specked when he falls over. Of course, he's opposite of the other guys here. Charles is actually stuck in the corner right now. I hope Ryan does not topple a kill, no. I mean, Ryan is going to survive that. I don't, I don't know why. Oh well. Actually, are the monkeys even fighting or just kind of existing over there? You know, they're, they're, uh, they're, no, 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 no. No need to worry about that. Or do we? Uh, sure, really would not want to if you don't have to. I hate fighting spiked enemies. Uh. I'm bound to have just too much crap on hand. He's satisfied. Not anymore, because I'm going to take the red. I tried my best to avoid anything side quest related. And I'm pretty sure I succeeded at that, so. You know, just, uh, might as well keep all side quest crap for a stream. Because I did a lot of busy work. It would have been extremely boring to do on stream. Like grinding. <laughs> I'm getting books. Worst comes to worst, I might have to get some books on stream, but ho hopefully not. Yeah, I could actually show. The results of me trying to get uh, I forgot which one this was. It's going through the windy cave a crap ton. It's fracking up all the uh, the guys there, and again nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how I got rage as well, because <laughs> like, there's a boss that can give it 30% chance of spawning. By the way, during a thunderstorm, which is really annoying to get in the. Uh, Air C. I have to fight it twice. In like the half hour or like hour I tried fighting it. Can't force a cooldown? Seriously? Alright. Yeah, I'm trying to get bedtime through the uh, the cocoons, which only have a 10% drop of dropping the, the large chest that I want. In that chest, there's a 2% chance. 
to uh, actually have the item inside, which I got it once, and that was it. I mean, it's not required to finish the game with, but I, you know, I thought I might as well do it since fighting a lot of stuff mindlessly helps build a uh, friendship. So, you know, it is nice not to see any red text. So. Sure, what else I did? Yeah, I well, was pretty much at it. That's it, grinding and trying to get advanced books. I was not very successful at the latter. <laughs> I got a, I got a decent amount for what it's worth, but I like a lot more though. No. kept the experience uh, decorations on the characters I had him on last, I don't remember who. But uh, I know for a fact Ricky is like the highest level, I think, because of his passive. He just naturally has a lot more experience than, more than the other party members. Okay, there was a... I, talk, I think I talked about it yesterday when I played Crimbo. There's that weird... Amazement, like, wow, this game's on <laughs> portable mode. Of course it is, it's on a Switch. I just got too used to playing it on uh, docked mode, or a lot of my Switch games on docked mode, actually. Everybody has high tension, so that is good. He's fine. Let's have Charla do uh, more Charla. That's not what I wanted. Good. Nice. You did a good job. That was horrible. Now he's dead. A little bit more. Oops. Still waiting on my copies of uh, Xenoblade 2, by the way. <laughs> At least tomorrow's Friday. Ooh, new chapter One Piece, I think, later today. So that's good. Seriously, why? Pretty sure finding those other guys are also annoying because they're probably spiked. Yeah, I didn't really expect uh, to finish the uh, epic yarn yesterday. Oh, I should have done that. I supposed to explore? Is it? Door is opened. Yeah. But I'm too afraid to go through it. Who knows what horrible things might be lurking in there. Let me think about this for a while. Can't <laughs> give me the thumbs. What thumbs? I don't have thumbs. I was just on What is it? Thought about it and I've decided that I want you to go in. Tell me what you find. Okay. If there's any script you can't decipher, just take a rubbing. Good luck. Okay. Remember what it says. We should take a rubbing and have sure or decipher it. Yes. 
<laughs> that was easy. Didn't even go that far in. Oh no, oh. You made some spaghetti? Nice. What is it? You're saying all you saw was a single stone tablet? There must be something else of importance in there. Anyway, I should take a look at what was written on the tablet then. Let me see that rubbing you took. I see. It's a path of absolution. A path walked when offering a sacrifice to the white spiders it is lined by the memorial tablets of those offered up as sacrifices. It's all written in this book. Enter the path of absolution and bring me back a tablet. It will serve as a key that opens the next door. Okay. The side stuff? Yes. Since I could finally do it, because I could fight all the things, I'm like over leveled. Ish. Oh, a flower. What? I guess, uh, technically speaking, I, I could just. I guess go, uh, here and end the game, but, um. I want to do the side stuff. Turn on passive mode? No. Got it. What is it? You brought back a tablet. Hey, is it just me? Is it just me who finds the two minnow coffins a bit strange? Must be one somewhere. Maybe the tablet is a key. Supposedly, with this tablet, I could open another door in this room. A door that would lead us to the giant's soothsayer's resting place. I am deciphering where the door is located. Please give me more time. Did you get your copies? You'll play two yet? No. Actually, I could double check the tracking number, but I could guess what it'll, what it'll say. What is it? I, I have a feeling the tropical storm slash tornadoes or whatever kind of delayed the package since um, the origin is Puerto Rico. So, eh, you know. <laughs> I got it. I know where the door is. Go to the level below. It's just on the left after these steps. You can use the tab. You can use the tablet to open it. Go inside and look for any clues about the giants. Okay, but it's coming, so that's good. I hope so. Get most finished. I'm counting on you. Okay. To the left, this. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I got what I needed. What is it? Hmm, it's uh it's the Moonlight Book. I can't believe it. With this and the Starlight Book, I can solve the riddle of these ruins. This is why I've been cremated disrespect to <laughs> little crabs everywhere. <laughs> Hey man, if you're just laying there, there's nothing you could do about it. I'll go back to Colony 9 and study them. I'm shaking with excitement. Ah, of course, the reward. Oh, silly me. I don't have it on me. Can I give it to you later on? I live in the commercial district. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Okay. I just wanted my reward. What is it? Oh goodness, I'm glad to see you. Thanks ever so much for the other day. I assume you're here to collect your reward? Yes. Before that, let me tell you something exciting. Thanks to those two books, I've learned so much about the Giants. Turns out that the Giants' fate was linked to the White Spiders. The giant next coffin was in fact the giant Sooth Slayer. The Sooth Slayer subjugated the White Spiders. But when the Sooth Slayer died, the White Spiders were freed. That's when he started to amass power, so the Giants offered sacrifices in, in order to avoid a war. But the Giants' number grew even smaller. Soon the oppressors had clearly become the oppressed. They were unable to fight back against the White Spiders. They were forced to live a meager existence behind the closed doors. Oh. Oh, don't worry, I didn't forget you about your reward. You're the Giants' treasure that has been passed on my family. I've always wanted to research and find out more about it. But after reading these books, I now know that there are three of them. One is meaningless on its own, but I know you can find other ones. I shall leave it in your capable hands. Is this... True for the Giants. Oh, that's how I get that. Okay. 
I completed two quests with that. Yep. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it seems I'll be able to finish my, um... My stream goal of doing all the Kirby games, like... Within maybe the first two weeks of September? Can I do this? I raised a lot of friendships. Yes. 7.30 and the temp is 83, but it feels like 91. <laughs> oh, heat sucks. Yeah, oh, it's straight 70 right now. Oof. It's gonna rain Saturday. Oh, oh I see 80s. Over the weekend. Uh... Squid. Up the up down ban. Use your home. It is a pace, uh, painful experience, but not lightly forgotten. The people of Connie 6 have had a rough time of it. Exactly. And we could have lost our homes to the Mechon just as easily. If it wasn't for you. Me, I was useful as a Wolf Club. My ego <laughs> needs no massaging. That's not what I meant. We look up to you, Dunban. You're a bona fide hero. Just think of all the stuff you did at the Battle of Sword Valley. Hm. <laughs> Some hero, but I appreciate the sentiment. I think you're getting things a bit mixed up, though. I did a save Kai 9 with the mech on attack. Shulk did. Yep, he sure did. I'll never forget that day as long as I live. Shulk wielding the Monado. Sent <laughs> shivers down my spine. Yeah, he took uh he took to the cursed sword like flies to a brog. I want to use it too. Uh, wait, they're both pretty much the same thing. The feud of Monado is unlike any other sword. I know that more than anyone. But it's the true sort of a hero. No, it's not what I meant. I think about your arm and being everything Shulk's... And, 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 I think about your arm and about everything Shulk's been through. If I could stand in Shulk's place right now, I would in a second. Such loyalty is to be admired. I don't get it. I mean, Ryan, <laughs> that your closeness to Shulk is a good thing. Never let that friendship die. I'm so serious all of a sudden. I'm not wrong though. Me and Shulk can be good friends, best friends even. So, there's no point in thinking about what if Sword chooses its wielder. Maybe he was even lying in wait for him to come along. The time has passed for anyone but him to wield that sword. Yeah, I guess you're right. If you ask me though, the current situation ain't too bad. Shulk knows all too well about how much you care for him. Although he might not say it out loud. I guess. Well, if Shulk is a sword, then I'll have to be a shield. Oh. Now you think they're along the right lines? It's all about how we support him. Peace. Prince. They got some blue, so that's good. Hello. I brought the provisions. I knew you would not let me down. They and Tia can't, aren't really cut out for this type of life. If we could fill some bellies, they might feel less desperate. Maybe not. Anyways, uh, here's a little something to say thank you. Good. New side quest. I don't suppose you're going to Satoru Marsh anytime soon. I heard there's some Hyantia like me in Satoru Marsh as well. I read in some book that it has a special meaning to the Hyantia. The only thing is the fog is dense and you can't grow many crops. Or so it says in my copy of Amateur Adventurer. I was thinking that they won't have much to eat. Can you, uh, cool out? Go help them? You could take them some food. Anyway, could you help them out? Okay. Probably really hungry without food and everything, but you look like you're up to the job. Please, get the rations to them. Alright. Are you that? Are these supplies? I'm extremely grateful. Y you could see we have little food and we are not used to living like this. We should give us some way towards improving our lives a little bit. Thank you so much. We are in your debt. Use a token of our appreciation. Please take it. Feed 
goggles and arms. We'll 